Johnny Cage. All right, guys. Sorry for the delay. It is time to get started. Mortal Kombat 1, FGC Paradise. Let's get hype, everyone. First up, Rez Ghost versus Cass and Mass. Cass and Cass. Cass. Cass but Cass. There we go. Might as well. It's M-rated game, right? You may be a champion. Rez, you're playing Merlina, you right? Still a commoner. Okay. Commoner. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Now I'm triggered. Okie dokie. Let's see here. Good, good, good. Sounds good. Let's get started. Melina versus Johnny Cage. Melina with the Kung Lao assist and Johnny Cage with the Cyrax assist. This cage does not have any green power, but that's okay. We do have plenty, plenty of... Oh, we're just going ham with the uh, the Rising Elbow, aka the Flash Kick. So this Johnny Cage does not have any fireballs like his normal Johnny Cage counterpart. Meanwhile, Molina, known for rolling like Fred Durst as well as, like, there we go. Keep on rolling, baby. So far, again, those are stutter steps. This is the old MK9 style walk and block, what I've heard. Ooh, well, overhead mix. Ending with the roll. Round two, fight. Okay, so I really like the use of Kung Lao's fireball as something of a frame trap starter. This game does have a good deal of high-low mix, much like Street Fighter Cross Tech. And as a reminder, I was asked by Perfect Legend to push this game as much as I could, at least from the start. So I'll see what I can do. Three. Big standoff right there. Molina with the throw and forcing Giant the corner. He's got to get out of this corner. So much damage when you have the wall here in Mortal Kombat 1. Ooh, good block right there. And for... For those who do not know, Mortal Kombat has a unique input system where when you do these strings, these special inputs, you have to input as much as possible even though the animation for that string is not yet finished on the screen. So you can't visually confirm like in Street Fighter, for example. Once you have pressed buttons, you have to do as quickly as possible and commit to whatever string you want to do. Uh-oh. All right. First game goes to Casmic Ass. Melina, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Kung Lao, the Flesh Pit. Ooh, a Kung Lao mirror on the assist end? I will deal with those who object to my rule. Be a sovereign. Okay, Doki. Not a tyrant. Ghost has retired Johnny Cage. We are going to the other protagonist, Liu Kang. Liu Kang, the god of this new timeline, thanks to his victory over Kronika in Mortal Kombat 11. But that's neither here nor there. Here, everybody is mortal. Everybody is in combat. Everybody can win or lose just as easily as each other. Good side switch right there. So cameos offer a, a wide variety of benefits. Not everyone, no one has just one assist tied to their cameo. There's multiple utilities for each cameo and multiple techniques you can use, such as throw combos, like you saw with Liu Kang doing a side switch right there with Kung Lao. Not the ooh, there we go, combo breaker. So if you have a full stock of meter, your cameo can cause a combo breaker, which can save you in a pinch. Love it. Once again, some cameos can offer a benefit where characters can combo from throws. Cyrax is one, Kung Lao is one, or at least Kung Lao Classic. As a reminder, the Kung Lao you see here is not the same as the Kung Lao you can play as in this game. They are different characters in the lore, as well as different move lists. Love it. Got the big kicks right there. Fireball War. There is no trading, there are no trading fireballs in NRS games. If you try to do a traditional Fireball War, they will go through each other and then you guys trade. Such a good swing. So, even though. Yeah, he's committing that, by the way. Like, he's pressing as fast as he can. I believe that's uh, 4 3 4. And that is. Ooh, okay. We have an ender right there. A little bit of sneaky stuff. Can't go frame advantage. Got interrupted. However, reversal. Kick, kick. Good combo breaker right there. Cast the cast on chip and. Eats the tornado kicks. The Liu Kang pumping those legs. So you see both of them going full screen. They are trying to 
bait each other for a fireball war because if they do and someone isn't careful, the Kung Lao assist can make the partner teleport behind them. And that could lead to a big punish. So when throwing those projectiles, each character is risking the other's Kung Lao cameo to disrupt that fireball war with a teleport behind. Mm, cross up. Not enough armor on that, but there was some on there. A little of spice right there, and Liu Kang has to build some meter for uh, more of those EX moves. High dragon, low dragon. It's like Sagat right now. Fireball, fireball, low fireball. Watch yourself. Good blocking right there. Oh, not your turn yet. A throw. Simple forward throw. Ooh, good punish. Make sure that hurts. Rez ties it at one. Rez Ghost making it happen. See, I gotta call him Ghost, not Rez. My apologies. Rez is the name of the group that has brought him here to FTC Paradise here in Petersburg. Kick, kick, kick. Okay. Let's fire right there. A hard knockdown. Not your turn yet. Luke can't try to armor through, but there's too many hits on that cartwheel kick from Molina. There you go. Watch your head. Don't be chucking plasma at me when I have all these full screen punishes. Ooh, much, very much necessary right there. Fireball, fireball. Luke King took all that plasma. Unfortunately, it's to slowly march your way in with those uh, dashing blocks. Nah, not, not, not your time yet, my friend. And what a conversion right there. Fatal blow. This might be the round. Ghost. Yeah, this is it. Ghost is now on set point. I am the tool. Round two. Fight. So how will Oh, yeah, definitely punish that. Don't be rolling on me like God oh, missed the follow-up with the cameo. That would have been such a nasty extension. Throw break. A big jump in. What a call out from Aspic Gas and Molina. The combo is still going on. And because Liu Kang did not have full bar, he had to sit there and take it. 380 points of damage gone just like that. Excellent conversion from Aspic Gas. In the corner. Ooh, you saw Molina trying to armor through. And Liu Kang kept those hits coming. And this should... No, not quite. Lucky drop right there. Last breath indeed. Until that happened. Ghost advances 2-1. See, I want to I want to see because this is WB. He gets his green logo finds like a green lantern ring somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> When's he going to find his green lantern? There you go. That would be so funny. Hey, you know, I was joking with someone earlier with how bad M played the movie was with the tattoos and stuff. I said it was so. I said I was betting money that if Seaton and DC held their act together, we would have had M play versus DC the movie. Imagine how bad that would be. If you have an incredible. And you keep the you keep the tattoos and give everybody the raise. That would be the the plot. The raise. <laughs> If I was to fix one character, if you wanted to see a character jump from like decent to god tier, reptiles back three, back th back three one, right? Yeah. Make make the one an overhead instead of a mid. Ooh. He'd jump a whole. He'd go right up to the top. Ooh, I like that. Low to over. And I don't see no reason why they went do it because Smoke's got the same damn shit. Low to overhead. Give us a fucking reptile. Oh my god. He I don't understand the thought process as to why they like. They've got almost identical strings, but reptiles in the mid and so stupid open.
Blue Kang. Johnny Cage. Sector Frost, the Fire Temple. There is more to life than fortune and glory. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Spark, you're playing Johnny, right? Round one. Okay, check your buttons, then we'll get started. All right, guys, next up is going to be Veteran Spartan and Res Ghost coming back on. Res Ghost just lost to Cass McGass, so this is loser's bracket already. Uh, Veteran Spartan is doing a button check, so hang on tight, everyone. Okay, thank you. Blue Kang. Johnny Kane. Sector. Frost treasure chamber. It saddened me to see your marriage end. I've been busy. <sighs> me too. Uh, I've been King. busy. I gotta run other stuff too. Look, look, be happy with your Ryan Reynolds skin, alright? <laughs> That's why it's the Green Lantern. Alrighty, here we go. Ghost versus Veteran Spartan. Veteran Spartan going with Big Johnny himself, Johnny Cage. No green power necessary. He has a big green shirt on. That's all the green he needs. As he looks to make some green here at FTC Paradise. Luke Kang, though, looking to teach Johnny Cage a lesson. Luke Kang's match Malia didn't quite go the way he would like, but no worries. Okay, so. Boom, boom. Boom. Ah, oh, I missed it. No worries. He still has a corner up until Luke Kang decided to play some Shaolin soccer. Doing some of that FIFA stuff, but Johnny Cage showing what a real kick is. Go over that football punch. We play real football here at FEC Paradise. This is America, after all. Get that soccer stuff out of here. Boom, boom. Not got to hold that. Good block the overhead. So right now we have that 10 tit for tat in neutral, trying to block the high low mix or guess a throw. No, oh, you tried to press something and there is a combo breaker waiting for you, my friend. Watch the hidden missile. And that hidden missile pressure is so real. Just like in Marvel, once it goes up the air, you have to guess what's gonna happen next to partner as he has that missile offering cover fire. And, and still, Johnny Cage and Venice Barton have the corner overhead block. He tried to go for a mix. Luke Kang held back and got the throw. A ah, little bit too early on the hidden missile. So the Oki frame trap didn't work the way he wanted. No worries. He is still keeping this going. So much pain in the corner. My patience wears thin. Final round fight. Uh oh. Watch your feet, my friend. Just like with um, Street Fighter Cross Second, some of these strings have high low mixes tied in and they lead to combos. So in Mortal Kombat, there are many strings that have jabbable gaps in them. So be sure to keep that in mind. Just like Street Fighter Cross Second, some of these strings have reversal options where you can interrupt them and turn the tie right back on them. Meanwhile, Frost coming in, offering a little bit of a little bit of an opportunity for Johnny Cage to turn this around, but. Luke Kang hanging in there, and Luke Kang takes the first game. Blessed be zoning, a dying art form because there are too many whiners online who don't like zoning. Boom, boom, boom. Love to see it. Love to see it. Do not be whiffing buttons full screen on me. I have the big dragon kick. I have projectiles up the wazoo. From the mid, from the low, from the air. Here we go, the big Sagat-like volley of Liu Kang armoring through whatever Johnny Cage wanted to do. No cameo mix-up for you. Ah, no, not quite, my friend. Johnny Cage most likely wanted a parry that would lead to some height meter, but Rez was not impressed. Rez is now on set points. Mm. So, for the last few uh, exchanges, that uh, string right there has only been a three-hit combo. So, Luke Kang's had to put some fire on it and put that extra hit at the end. Bum, bum, boom. In the corner as well. You have to... Yeah, you have to combo breaker right there. No choice. Gotta love... I love how Sector was done in this game. I love how the OG look looks so good in this game. Ba, 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 boom, hidden missile. Watch yourself. Ooh, that time he timed it just right, and it landed right on Johnny's head. Another reversal with the pumping kicks, and Ghost takes it 2 nothing. What is it, Blue? 
Okay. Where? Hey Nick. This is where is finals. This is loser finals. Winners finals. Winners finals. Oh dang. Wait. So Ghost won. No. It's first to three. First to three. No. What I mean is like you won the set with Cast the Gas. Okay. So you were that guy. I had it wrong. I had Cast the Gas. Anyway. So. No, I mean, are you good? Okay, hold on just a moment. There we go. Okay, so I had the names wrong before. Cas McGass was who lost, and Rez was who won. So the sides were switched. I'm sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, this is winner's finals. And oh, man. Okay, so... There was an issue where the players were on the wrong side, even though I said sit here, sit there. So, no worries. Easy fix. This is winner's finals, and now Ghost is on set point. Round two, fight. Pump, pump, pump. Here you go. I'd love to see it right there. Oh, love it. Love, love these confirms. Again, these confirms are hard because you have to just match these things out fast as you can. They're dialogue combos after all. So you can't visually confirm like in Street Fighter games. Another reversal. Stop with those strings, my friend. Ghost advance. In dominating fashion, the Grand Finals winner's side, 3-0. Crazy. Oh, crazy. It really is. And, and they're all mid. And he can confirm for like a billion years off them. You know, all, all, yeah. you, all you can do all day is, uh, 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 he gets to do it free all day. Oh. And he confirmed like visually, like super easy. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to like commit to anything. I didn't even know you could armor through between the gaps when you play for this game. That's ridiculous. No, that's what happens when a game comes out and you stay home 24 hours a day and Smoke. Serena. Sub Zero. The Great Hall. All right, guys. Losers Finals. Veteran Spartan. Cast McAss. If we do this, Cast McAss going with the blue colored Molina to really throw people off. Veteran Spartan dropping Johnny, and now here comes Smoke. Yuri Lowenthal himself. It is time to go full anime with Yosuke, the Smokesuke, right here. Oh, we're getting cheap with the Serena assist. Back and forth we go. That was all a standing combo. So in Mortal Kombat 1, the longer you juggle someone, the more gravity builds up as the combo continues. Oh, that was a button check. I'm sorry about that. Never mind, guys. Button check. All right, let us continue. No, that should have been that. He chose, he chose the wrong cameo, and then what he did is a button check. All right? Look at this guy. He's lucky I'm a nice guy. Kung Lao, Serena. All right, here we go. We should hunt together sometime. As long as I'm not the quarry. I know, I know she wants to be right. Here's the hint. Watch your feet. Fight. All right, here we go. Melina, Smoke once again. Smoke already going for the Smoke Bomb shenanigans, but Melina throwing out buttons saying, don't be done on me. What a confirm right there. Melina ball, another Melina ball, but it is broken up by the Serena cameo. Anti-air jab into the juggle. Oh my goodness, we got fundamentals here in Losers Finals. Love to see it. Jumps this game are so slow, so you have plenty of time to end here looking for it. Alrighty, so Smoke 
forcing his way in. Even bring some bar, I think, but ultimately it was not enough. Malia did not flinch, and now she's got some Oki going on. Oh, no! Smoke tried to do something on Wake Up, but Malia was already pressing buttons. These strings just stopping everything. So much priority. Oh, uh, this time the anti-air jab did not hit. The Andrews game are not consistent like they are in Street Fighter. So it's not one anti-air fits all. Not that it isn't Street Fighter, but Mortal Kombat even more so. Some anti-airs that might work in the same situation might not work in the situation that looked just like it because the angle was slightly off. Okay. So Molina be a little more careful about trying to press buttons on these jump-ins. But in the end, it was not enough. Molina and Cass Vegas take game one in dominating fashion. Molina, David Draymond's favorite fan, down with the sickness is Molina. For those who do not know, her wonderful dental work is in fact a disease in this timeline. Same with Baraka, who has gone from goofy lackey that everyone beats up on to something like a Wolverine okay. figure. Meanwhile, we have that Melina, Lady Deathstrike herself, trying to be the best leader possible while also being down with the sickness. Veteran Spartan has benched Smoke. We are going to Big Johnny himself. Johnny Cage. No green powers necessary, even though it doesn't look like Ryan Reynolds this game. I do not have the John, Van, the John Claude Van Damme skin just yet. I'll get for next time, seeing it was in popular demand. Ooh, trade. So tense right there when uh, you have that situation where both characters are stunned heavily. And Melina is going in. Look at this. Almost no damage taken. Armored Shadow Kick. Turned the tide just a little bit. Melina held on. And she is standing not just on a round lead, but she has almost a full bar. There was almost no bar used in that situation. Overhead. Uh-oh. Watch the mix again. Anti-air jab, fundamentals all over the place. No choice but to pop that cameo, break that combo. Before things get worse, another anti-air jab. It goes on and on, my friend. And sticking that big button out. Don't be jumping on me, finally. Johnny Cage caught him, but did not get the stun he wanted from that jump in. And that low kick. Oh, there you go. However, because Melina saved her bar, she had the wherewithal to get that power breaker just in time, and now it is 2-0. Cass Bagaz, he is one game away from the Grand Finals. All right, run it back. Veteran Sparring gonna stick with Big Johnny. Let's see what can be done. I, mean, I really like how Melina uses that Kung Lao cameo to get even more frame advantage to start high low mixes with those strings, as well as her forward cartwheel. That is a command normal. Being hit twice, it will beat a lot of armored wake ups. That'll be something you want to keep track of as you are trying to dominate in quick fashion as Happens Act does one round away, round and Cash McAss will be going to grand finals against Rez Ghost, who. Who Rez goes actually beat again. The last time you saw that set, um, Cass Bagast and Rez had their side switch. So, in reality, it was Rez goes to one, not Cass Bagast. Mike, look, look at that damage. What the heck happened? That was a reset as well, ladies and gentlemen. So, that was a reset. Even though that was like all red, looked like 8% damage, that was actually a reset happened in the middle of that combo. Dire situation right now for Veteran Sparks. Gotta do something. Something and Cass was not pressured whatsoever to fall for anything. Cass big ass moves forward three nothing.
of the dragon army. There ain't nothing hotter than a warrior princess. Careful, Cage, lest you get burned. Round one, fight. So I'm pretty sure this is, but oh, this is where it's going in. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 12 8 time for grand finals. We have Rez Ghost back to Johnny Cage and Catholic Ass playing Molina. This is double elimination grand finals. So what happens is if Ghost wins three, the term is over. But if Cass wins three, then the bracket is reset. So we just saw one Johnny Cage earlier, and now it's time for this Johnny Cage to try and avenge his fellow Cage player's pride. What a reversal. So you saw Johnny Cage go for frame trap, and once he has that, then the opponent has to assume it's time to punish, only for Johnny Cage to have an armor reversal to stop a whip punish? No! A fake step. Yeah, Johnny Cage in this game has Steve Fox style ducking. Dudley style duck, as a matter of fact. So you see him moving forward, that might not be an attack per se. Additionally, the uh Additionally, the forward dash does build some hype bar, which is something like an A group in CVS2 or a custom combo bar in Alpha 2. So Lord help Moline. Oh, that's a good change. So I'm assuming that single kick was meant to stop a shadow kick. Because that one was armor to his EX version. Man, look at that. Look at that way to make all that pressure safe. The Cyrax assist has so much hit stun. Like, look at that. But it does take a while to charge, however. Good side. Good salvation of the side as well. Big damage. Go oh, wake up. Wake up groin punch, but nobody home. Uh, this should be Cass's round. I don't see how. Yeah, I don't see how Ghost could have uh, won that easily. Just such a deficit. There's also. Every. Even if you block a regular attack, it will still chip. So. That was. Johnny Cage would have had not been touched whatsoever, hit or blocked to pull that off, and it was unfortunately kind of hard a game like this where there are assists further muddying up the screen clutter. Big punish. Make that hurt. Good job. Watch your feet knowing that there's going to be a YOLO roll coming in. Cameo. Okay. Keep it simple. A low attack in the throw. Good. Keep that frame trapped. Keep it going. Ooh, big! That could have been major right there. That looked really unsafe. Great punish from Molina right there, though. Overhead mix and more damage. This might... It's tense. Oh, no! So close, yet so far. Ghost takes game one. Minus six. Okay. In other games, that would actually... In other games, that would be unsafe, but Mortal Kombat's like uh, Tekken unsafe. Minus six is safe in Mortal Kombat, ladies and gentlemen. In other games, minus six would be like a three-frame punish. I don't think there are three-frame moves in this game like that, so... No worries. But yeah, I did say the frame advantage. I didn't look at the uh, startup frame of some of these moves. I realized that some of them weren't like a uh, three-frame, four-frame startup. So, my mistake. Yeah, it's a uh, Tekken style minus six, where that is actually safe. In fact, World Combat does get compared a lot to Tekken because of the uh, one, two, three, four button system. That is uh, back punch, front punch, back kick, and front kick. Or, no, front punch, back punch, front kick, back kick is a uh, one, two, three, four. In Tekken, it's left punch, right punch, left kick, right kick. Okay. So as we're talking, um, Ghost had Cass in the corner. Oh, what a lucky trade right there. And as Johnny tried to advance, Melina was waiting for him. Now Melina has the corner. Oh no, you try to get in, but there was a cameo to save the day. Mm, no, missed the reset. Don't need it though. This should be the round. Excellent salvation from Cass McGass. Final round, fight. Then Molina with that crouch kick, going under everything right there. Like uh, Raven's crouch medium kick across second, ladies and gentlemen. Kick. Now we're just trading cameos full screen. I see you. 
But I do like the notion because because that hat has so much uh, block advantage, that gives me a plenty of time to make the opponent guess. They're going to be like a YOLO roll coming. they to come back here. Oh, no! Another low profile! Excellent stuff from Tastic Ass right there. Watch it. Mm, no, what? That could have been a bad way punch right there. Still, still your turn. Still your Great throw escape. That could have been a nasty mix right there. Because he has Cyrax, if he did throw him in the back, that would have been a combo because Cyrax can have an assist where the regular throws combo. In the interim, though, Ghost hangs on. No combo throw necessary. Ghost is one game away from taking this event. Again, because he has Cyrax assist, you can use that to combo from your throw. At the same time, you have Kung Lao Classic, who also has the ability to have the partner combo from a throw. Ooh, okay, yeah. Some of these, yeah, unlike Tekken, a lot of these full strings you just kind of sit on. However, there are also a bunch of strings where there is a gap in between, and that's something to keep in mind as well. Good block. Oh, no. Still not time to press buttons, Melina. However, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Now Melina's going to try and turn the tide and put Johnny Cage in the corner. Wake up, Groin, and armoring through. Look at this. Sick damage. What a punish. I dropped. No. And Johnny Cage command dashes out. This stings. This was, that was Cass's moment. Man, that's salty right there. I'd be so mad. Ghost is on tournament point. Yeah, you have to, again, hold all that. Watch your feet. Armoring through with the EX Shadow Kick. Uh, I like that. So, when Melina is blocking, Johnny can uh, push forward in a way where the hit stun changes because... She is out of the range of Cyrax's helicopter. Careful. Oh no! Not your turn swing buttons. Thankfully, that didn't connect as a combo. That did, however, the rising elbow. Oh no. Gotta hold that. Oh, this might be it right there. Not quite. Magic Pixel and another shout kick takes it. Ghost wins 3 0. All right, everyone, that was our first World Combat 1 event. We'll have a much bigger one in two weeks at The King Returns. We will see you then. Next up is Street Fighter 6. Hey, Ghost, I'll interview you. First off, congratulations on winning. How are you feeling right now? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh... All righty, so what I really like the choice of Cyrax, as we saw, not just having the helicopter spin to kind of make them guess, are you still in block start when you're running forward like that, but also the fact that you can use Cyrax to create a situation where there's a combo throw because of that, uh, that bomb follow-up after a throw. Yeah, yeah. What kind of sebs do you like with the net in this game with Johnny Cage? Uh, with the net specifically, uh, and net's really important for Johnny specifically because he doesn't have a projectile, and so it operates almost as an anti-zoning tool because if you trade with any regular projectile you get a full combo which gives him some sort of presence outside of footsie range that he wouldn't have otherwise all right with that said we had molina this is actually the second time you faced cast mcass today you faced him earlier on the stream so even though you won that one it was pretty tight at the end in fact, I thought uh, he won just based on the side switch issue earlier, how close it was. But yeah, so what kind of adjustments did you made as you uh, went back to Johnny here? Uh, well, a lot of it was unfamiliar. Uh, sorry, unfamiliarity with the matchup. In the past, I've always only played Lou against Melina. Johnny's kind of a recent pickup. Uh, I say that both in a relative sense, as the game's only been out for what two and a half weeks now. But I've only been playing Johnny for maybe a week, and I've been playing Lou since launch. Uh, I just wasn't really familiar with how to play that matchup, and after watching the previous set, I kind of, uh, in Loser's Finals, where uh, Spartan also played Johnny, I kind of saw where I needed to change up what I was doing. All right, well, congratulations. Next time I'll have a camera so we can all see your, uh, your handsome face as we proceed through these events. As a reminder, we're going to have a really big event in two weeks. The King returns. There will be Mortal Kombat 1. I will make it rain there. 
In the interim, no pun intended. In the interim, however, I did promise a $100 pop bonus for this game, and I will be PayPaling you that. So be sure to join our F RBA FGC Discord out there already, and we'll talk business about your pop bonus that you have so rightly earned. Awesome, thank you. All right. Congratulations, sir. All right, guys. Next up is Street Fighter Six. Hang on tight. <laughs> 